Hello all, Jamo here from N-Flight Tech Support. In this video, my plan is to talk to you about pre-flighting your GoPro. There is no reason to turn your motor on and try, uh, try to figure out your recording system while in flight. It just doesn't make any sense and it's just unsafe as well. So uh, if I'm trying a new recording setup that I haven't really quite got dialed in or don't have absolute certainty or maybe I'm in a new airplane, I always sit on the tarmac, fire up the battery. You're not going to wear the battery out, you know, running your avionics for 10 minutes. Okay? It's just not going to happen. You can run your avionics for 10 minutes and nothing is going to happen, all right? It's all going to be good. So I'm going over the shoulder here with this camera. First thing I'm going to do is turn the camera on. All right. Camera is now recording. So what I've done is I've used my uh, audio adapter kit on this GoPro, and I've actually run it to the back seat ports. All right. So I'm a big fan of you know. Sure, you have a splitter in this uh, N-Flight cable, right? In the N-Flight uh, recording cables, there's a splitter, which works great. But uh, you know what? If given the, the option and given the choice, you know, as far as cable management goes, and as well just, I don't know, cable management, just removing an extra piece of something in, the, in your uh, PIC communication system, right? So I, I, I prefer to remove my PIC headset from the recording stuff. So I plug it in the back seat. Uh, and if I am gonna run a splitter, uh, I always split my passenger's headset, not the PIC. But I mean, the splitter works great, but like I said, it's just one of those things. Why, why not, right? So anyhow, this is recording now. And so the question is, um, how can you tell that you're actually getting audio? Well, for the first part, uh, I go through and I actually plug a headset into the audio ports in the back seat, and I run a test, and I go through all the audio and make sure I can hear everything in the headset. So if I can hear it in the headset, I know the audio is coming through correctly. Everything from, you know, weather. Remarks. Caution. High volume traffic area with intense flight training. So there's that uh, the AWOS report, the AWOS weather and whatnot, and then just regular traffic on the CTAF here. Turn that up. All right, that's in there. Uh, I'm gonna turn that back down. Uh, mainly because I because I actually have the uh, the the uh, ATIS or not the ATIS, but the uh, CTAF is actually tuned in there. Uh, so there you go. Um, now, so how do you you check it, right? Well, in your GoPro cameras, uh, when you stop the recording, you can just pull your camera down, and all you got to do, this easy, friends, uh, just swipe up from the bottom. Camera is now auto starts playing. So what I've done, and there's a little speaker right here in the camera. Kit on this GoPro, and I've actually run right here in the camera. You can just listen to it. All right. So I'm a big fan of you know. Sure, you have a splitter in this. I'm listening to it right now. Coming out right here out the battery, which works great. But right. So I can listen to my audio. There I go. I just listened to it. I just pre-flighted my whole recording system. Now I can focus on flying, and I know this all works. That easy. Boom. If you have any questions, hit us up. Support at nflightcam.com.